everyone, Jester Tester is back. This time, we are going to be lighting up the molded coin gore with the Retro 530 light up kit. And here it is guys, I think what we're going to do first is we're going to turn the machine off, we're going to access the back, take the back panel off, and we're going to remove the molded coin door. So hang in there with us guys. All right, guys, before we get to the machine, I think I just wanted to show you how uh, Retro 530 sends the uh, light up kit. It comes in a box like this. And what you get inside is his little sticker, Retro 530. Okay, and he gives you the light kit. Now, this is a light kit for a single door. It's got the two coin slots. You can get one for a double door with four coin slots. All right, so this is the way it comes. And Laramie does a really, really great job with all his uh, equipment. Uh, you can see here, very, very high end, heat shrinked, connection, USB uh, for power, and the two LED lights. Really, really nice. I really like Retro 530's stuff. All of his stuff is very high end. If you guys haven't gotten a chance to get over there, uh, give a look at his website. He has really, really some great stuff over there and uh, he does a great job with his business. All right, so let's get to the back of this. Let's take it apart, take the coin door off, and then we'll uh, go from there. Hang in with us. All right, guys, so here we are inside the machine. We're just gonna unscrew all the screws that hold on that molded coin door. That's it. Now we'll just get to the front of it and we'll pull that molded coin door off. Hang in there, guys. All right, guys. So once the molded coin door is off the machine, you have it out like this. All right. I think the easier way to do this is if you look in the back here, the red coin buttons here are held on by screws. I think we're going to take those off. We're going to remove these um, from the molded coin door so we can access the holes there so we can line it up and put our drilled holes where we need to put them. All right, so I'm gonna unscrew these. All right, and to save time, I'm gonna do that off camera and I'll be right back. Hang on. All right, guys, I just wanna cut back in. These screws are extremely small headed screws. So I had to get a micro screwdriver to get those out. So um, if you're gonna plan on doing it this way, you definitely wanna get a micro screwdriver with a very tiny Phillips head on there. All right, but once you get the four screws out, it's very simple. These coin buttons they just pop right out of here okay so we'll put those aside and now what we're going to do is we're going to put the coin door back on we're going to hold it on and then we're going to use the openings to line up where we're going to drill all right guys so here's what i did i put the coin door back on just for a temporary but what i did was behind it i'll take this off just to show you i put some blue painters tape in the area where the holes are going to be all right, I'll show you why I did that in a second. Let me just get the door back on. So you put the door back on, you'll have the blue painter's tape showing, okay? Now, an easy way to do this, if you want to find the center, take a black Sharpie and make a, an X from corner to corner and corner to corner. And the center where those X's come together is where the center of your holes are going to be drilled. Right there and right there. All right, guys. So I had to put the camera on an angle so I can get at this straight. So like I said, right in the center of your X's is where the center of your holes are going to be drilled. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with a smaller drill bit just to make a little pilot hole just so my larger bit doesn't slide on me so we'll start with a smaller one 
All right, now I'm gonna I'm gonna go up to a five sixteenths. Now this might just be a little bit tight, but I'd rather err on the caution of going a little bit smaller. I can always make it bigger if I need be, but I can't do the reverse. So we're gonna use a what did I say five sixteenths. All right. All right. All right, so let's go to the back and we can take this tape off now and we'll go to the back and we'll see how the lights actually fit into a 5 16 hole. All right, guys, just so you are aware, I did move up from the uh, 5 16 drill bit and I went up a size to the 3 8 uh, the 5 16 did all right. It was just a little too snug. I didn't want that much pressure being pressed down on those red areas of the LEDs. So I went up to the 3 8 which would be the better size to go with. Okay, so definitely use a 3 8 inch drill bit. If your holes are a little bit too big with the 3 8 and it's a little bit of looseness in the LEDs, you can always wrap a little black electrical tape around the red area and it'll make it a little more snug. But definitely use a 3 8 inch drill bit. All right, guys, so let's go into the back. Let's put the LEDs in. Let's hook up the USB cable, put everything back together, and let's see what it looks like. Hang in there with us. One more quick tip, guys. Before you go in the back to screw your coin door in, you may want to take a little blue painter's tape and just hold the coin door on. This way, as you're trying to put the screws in from the back, you're not knocking the coin door out to the front, uh, especially if you don't have another person or another party to hold the coin door for you while you're screwing it in. Just makes life a lot easier, all right? So, all right, so like I said, let me go in the back. Let me screw this all in. Let me put the LEDs in, and we will get it all going. Hang in there with us. All right, guys, so there it is. We put the two uh, light bulbs into the holes that we drilled. They went in nice and easy. Everything worked out good. I took the wire, ran it all the way up, up into the box up in the top, and it goes up into the USB uh, port up in there. And then what I did was I tie-wrapped everything together so there wouldn't be any... Uh, weight being pushed down on the lights so all the wires are nice and tucked up in there all right guys so let's button the back up and we'll turn it around and we'll turn it on and let's see what it looks like all right guys so here we are we're all buttoned up let's hit the switch and see how we did All right, guys, that looks absolutely awesome. A great little mod that's going to take you about 30 minutes or less. For this product or any other modding products, head on over to Retro 530's website. I will leave a link in the description. And if you guys could be so kind, leave a like, comment, and please subscribe to the channel. I would really appreciate it if you did. That's it, guys. Just a tester saying be well, happy gaming as always. And until the next review, I will see each and every one of you.